Michelle Pfeiffer and her TV producer husband, David E. Kelly, reportedly sold their Pacific Palisades mansion for a whopping $25 million after owning it for only a year and a half. This Hollywood power couple is notorious for being real estate investors, so it shouldn't come as a surprise. As aside from this 10,000 square foot plus home, they sold two other multi-million dollar LA properties from 2019 to 2020. They also have another Pacific Palisades property on the market too. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Michelle Pfeiffer is an actress known for playing eclectic roles in a variety of film genres from being Catwoman in 1992's Batman Returns to Elvira in Scarface and much more. She's recognized as one of the most prolific actresses of the 80s and 90s and remained one of Hollywood's most bankable actresses for four decades. Combined with her also successful TV producer and writer husband of more than 20 years, David E. Kelly, Paris amassed an impressive net worth of about $250 million. Michelle and David offloaded two of their estates within the last couple of years, including one in Woodside, California for $22 million in 2019 and one for $9 million in 2020. So it's clear they like flipping houses. Well, they bought a desirable brand new mansion in the Pacific Palisades in early 2020 for $22.5 million. It only took Michelle and David a year and a half to sell it and scoop up a profit worth a couple mil. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And today we're checking out where Michelle Pfeiffer calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In mid-2021, it was reported that Michelle Pfeiffer and her husband David E. Kelly had sold their most recent mansion for a whopping $25 million, only a year and a half after buying the brand new property. Located in the high-profile neighborhood of Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, tucked between the Pacific Ocean and the Santa Monica Mountains, the couple acquired the home in early 2020 for $22.3 million after it was newly built in 2019. The mansion was situated on a ridge of the Riviera neighborhood here with views right over the upscale Riviera Country Club, while inside the mansion span over 10,300 square feet of space with 7 beds and 10.5 baths. The mansion was designed by architect Steve Gianetti and shows off a European countryside style aesthetic. A mix of old world charm with modern features. Throughout the house, there are exposed ceiling beams, pocket doors, floor to ceiling fireplaces, arched doorways, balconies, and luxe finishes. The mansion was hidden behind a high hedge and landscaped with gardens surrounding it. While walking in the foyer, you can immediately notice the neutral color scheme of the home. One of the spacious living rooms in Michelle's former dwelling is made up of muted tones and feels serene, also with rustic wooden beams. There's another hotel like Great Room with stunning views of the surrounding upscale neighborhood and plenty of seating to entertain guests. Throughout main living areas, there are disappearing glass pocket doors that allow for a nice breeze, open air, and easy indoor-outdoor flow to take advantage of the stunning settings. There's a combination library office nearby with an antique stone fireplace, while a formal dining room boasts a crystal chandelier and room for eight guests. Michelle's kitchen here offered only the best wolf ovens and a Lacanche Sully range straight out of France. There's also three islands here along with a homework nook and the kitchen blends to combine into an indoor seating area which then further opens up to the outdoor seating areas. Considering we don't even know if Michelle and David lived here much or at all, the kitchen is likely untouched and brand new for the most part. The basement level of the mansion is party ready, offering up a climate controlled wine cellar with tasting area and storage for about 500 bottles. While next to this space, there's a 10 person cozy home movie theater. This level of the home further offers two spacious guest suites. Moving to the master suite, here the room comes with his and hers bathrooms, the larger one boasting a makeup vanity, as well as a soaking tub set against a floor to ceiling window. The sleeping quarters have a stone fireplace while the room spills out via French doors to a glass railed balcony with views of the golf course. Outside, the 0.36 acre lot features views of the ocean and the country club and golf course, while other bonuses include an infinity edge swimming pool and spa, a lounge deck and al fresco dining area. 
If that's not enough, secretly tucked under the green lawn and pool deck, you'll find a loft-like art studio. It's flooded with natural light and has floor-to-ceiling windows, as well as a private sitting area. Despite the beauty of the property, what you'll come to learn about Miss Fifer is that she moves off of her stunning homes quite often. She and her husband either barely lived here or didn't actually move in at all. Then, they sold a home for a hefty profit of a couple million, but it's far from the couple's first rodeo. More recently, in March 2022, it was reported that the Pfeiffer Kellys sold their fixer-upper also in Pacific Palisades, but this time they weren't so lucky. This less ritzy abode sat on the market for over two years, and by the looks of it, the couple never would have lived in this home either. They sold the humble and outdated ranch-style property for $6.5 million, but it's a price well below the $8.35 million they were hoping for. It's also $1.2 million less than what they paid for the home about four years ago in 2018. The deal was made off market so photos are non-existent of the inside but records reveal that the home is a stucco and shingle roofed abode originally built in the early 1950s. Inside the home had 2,870 square feet of space with four beds and three baths throughout. Nothing impressive and it needs some work, but there's definite room to expand or simply tear down and start over. The draw of the property is certainly the land. The home is situated on a sought after Pacific Palisade Street, close to Rustic Canyon Park, offering nearly one third of an acre of land and a 125 foot wide frontage. There are also stunning views from the Santa Monica Canyon to Catalina Island, while the private yard is shaded by towering trees and boasts an older pool, a deck, and a two-car garage at the front. The location is also close to some of the best shopping and dining. Another epic property Michelle and David offloaded in recent years, located in another part of California, was this $22 million compound in the Silicon Valley. Sold in 2019, the couple was trying to let go of the high maintenance property since early 2018 with a sky high price of $29.5 million. When that didn't work, they lowered the price, but the final amount still ranks among the biggest San Fran area deals in 2019. Michelle snagged this property in two separate transactions, one in 2004 and one in 2008 for a total of $20.6 million. Located in Northern California, the town the estate is in is called Woodside. Woodside is on the San Francisco Peninsula and among the wealthiest communities in the U.S., home to many tech billionaires and investors. The Pfeiffer Kelly Ranch style compound spans 8.67 acres of land and was tucked behind tall gates and hedges at the ends of a quiet and private street. The classic property was exceptionally charming and featured a 1940s Mediterranean style villa which acted as the main house boasting 6,300 square feet of space and four full bedroom suites. Of course, that's far from all. The compounds had at least five separate structures in the grounds, including three detached guest or staff apartments, each with its own bath and kitchenette, as well as a mini guest house with office and a separate fully equipped gym. Out front, the stunning main home offered an ivy-covered exterior with a turret, as well as courtyard landscaped with gorgeous gardens. The interiors were elegant and sophisticated while also quite traditional and there was a massive great room with hardwood flooring as well as a library media room nearby. The eating kitchen featured only the best stainless steel appliances. Upstairs, there were three guest rooms surrounding the top-notch master retreat which Michelle once used to enjoy. The main suite was located deep back in its own private wing with a fireplace equipped sitting room, bathroom decked out in marble with a steam shower, and double closets or dressing room. There was also a private sun-soaked outdoor deck. On the grounds, the lawns were immensely manicured and included a small apple orchard, veggie gardens, and a private swimming pool area. Not to mention the park-like property boasted grassy lawns, a full-size tennis court, and equestrian facilities with horse stables, a riding rink, and a paddock. If that's not enough, a California-style bonus for those dry spells was the water well on the grounds, which are hard to come by in this state. All right, well, that about wraps up our Michelle Pfeiffer house tour. It's no doubt that she and her husband, David E. Kelly, are notorious house flippers who can't seem to stay put. It's no doubt that she and her husband, David E. Kelly, are notorious house flippers who can't seem to stay put, and that we learned in today's video. 
Not only have they bought and sold some other California homes in recent years, a few years back, word came from Canada that a fairly remote 340-acre compound linked to the Pfeiffer Kellys came up for sale at $28 million. However, it was never sold as far as we know, so the couple still seems to own it. With all this mansion selling, it's hard to say where Michelle and David will be moving to next. I guess only time will tell, but chances are they won't stay there very long either. Out of the homes we saw, which was your fave? I think mine was the one in Northern California because of its traditional charm and beautiful park-like surroundings. Be sure to let me know yours in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!